If I were to run a command like get service pipe to stop service, well, first of all, that'd be crazy. Uh, at the very worst, it'll probably make my computer stop responding. Uh, I might even get a blue screen out of the deal. But let's talk about why it works. When you take output from one command and you pipe it to another command, PowerShell has to decide what to do with it. Essentially, the output from this command has to be attached to a parameter on this command. So PowerShell has to figure out what parameter that's going to be. The first set of rules that PowerShell uses to do that is called the by value technique. So this is the first thing it tries. So let's start by actually piping get service to get member or it's alias GM. And we need to see what type of object this is. It's a system.serviceProcess.serviceController. And as I've said before, we pretty much just take the last bit of that as it's, it's easy to remember name, service controller. So get service is placing service controller objects into the pipeline. Now let's take a look at the help for stop service. And it's very important that we look at the full help. What we're looking for are some parameters that accept a service controller object and can accept pipeline input using the by value rule set. Now you can see that stop service has got three different parameter sets. Each of these provides a different way of specifying which service or services we want to stop. We could stop a service by name, we could stop it by display name, or we could stop it by input object. An input object accepts service controller. So it looks like we're going to be playing with this one. Let's go read a little bit more about the input object parameter. There it is right there. Input object accepts object of the type service controller, which is what we said get service is producing. Input object also accepts pipeline input, and it does so using that by value set of rules that we want to play with right now. So when we run a command, get service pipe to stop service, this is producing service controller objects and placing them in the pipeline. PowerShell has to figure out what to do with those service controller objects. So it looks for a parameter that can accept a service controller from the pipeline by value. And that set of rules is why this command will work, even if it isn't such a great idea to run it right now, because I don't really want to crash my computer. <laughs>